Chromecast with Google TV is Android TV's latest Chromecast dongle with a smarter, snappier, and more organized UI. It's a direct competitor in the likes of Amazon Fire Sticks, Apple TV, and Roku. And here's what it offers. And welcome to G Reviews. New for 2021, Google came out with a new streaming stick called the Chromecast with Google TV. It comes in three different variants, sky, sunrise, and snow, as I have the snow color. It's basically the replacer of the well-known Google Chromecast Ultra. However, it comes with an extra layer of convenience by including a remote control with Google Assistance. Included in the box is two AAA batteries, the dongle itself, remote control with Google Assistance, the USB-C cable, and the power adapter. What's not included is the power adapter with the ethernet port like the Google Chromecast came with. So this is a wireless setup. However, later in the video, I'll talk about how you can actually add a USB hub to add a ethernet port and expand the memory as well as adding other components to it like a video camera to use features like Duo. The remote is as follows, where starting from the top, you have your up, down, left, right selector with your center enter button, your back button, your Google Assistant button, your home button, which if you press and hold, it will go to your settings menu, your mute button, and on the side, you have your volume rocker and your default YouTube and Netflix buttons, which are completely customizable where the YouTube button can be set for YouTube music, YouTube TV, and the Netflix button could be for other apps that you have. And you also have your power and your input buttons where you can actually set it up to control your TV, soundbar, or other audio devices. When you press the home page, you're greeted to the page called the For You tab. There it basically is the home page of the Google TV. It lists such categories like top picks for you from movies that you've previously watched or thumbs up and liked. Google basically sets a list of movies and shows that it thinks you would prefer. And also when you click into those movies, you can see the um, click on the trailer you can add it to your watch list. You can see the different ways of watching it. In this case, it's available on Disney Plus and Google TV. If it was available in other platforms such as Hulu, Netflix, it would list those um, like Amazon video. It would list those. So you can watch it through those if you are subscribed to them. You can thumbs it up so it can um, help the uh, algorithm to list more movies like that on your like list. The UI will also give you recommendations based on what you've already watched. For example, I watch Power, so these are the list of movies that it recommends for me to watch because I love Power. The next tab is the Movies and TV Shows tab, which is essentially the same layout as the For You tab but it's more filtered to movies and TV shows. If you press the Google Assistant button and just yell out the app that you wanna launch, for example, HBO Max, Google TV will actually launch that app or if it's not installed, prompt you to install it and once it's launched, you can actually go through its UI. In this case, I'll be using the HBO Max UI. You can also use the Google Assistant to control your smart devices at your home, such as your AC, your smart speakers, and your smart clocks. 
if you're interested on finding out how to add a USB hub for more memory or functionality like dual, see the link in the description as I linked a video from another YouTuber that actually shows you how to install it. Chromecast with Google TV is the evolution of the Chromecast Ultra with its snappy new UI and now a Google Assistant remote and completely customizable functionality where you could add both wired and wirelessly components to it like storage and features like keyboard and mouse, camera for video conferences through your TV, directly add an ethernet cable or simply use it for hardcore cloud gaming with Stadia. You cannot go wrong with this dongle and all this staying competitive with the other competitors by keeping it at under $50. You can't go wrong with this. This has been another G Reviews. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos coming soon. I'd like to hear from you guys. Until next time, it's your boy, Grawl.